This is a brief video to help you understand uh, how to use the MLA help that is available to you through Canvas. As always, go to the modules. Of course, there's a link here or here. In each one of these modules, you'll see at the very bottom MLA guidelines. This is a page that I might have put into the comments uh, on your last paper to help you follow these. But this, uh, I just wanted to make sure you knew how to find this because the links that I might have put in as comments did not function as links. So here's, or here are the MLA guidelines. Here is the template you can just use to type over your own paper. It works in Microsoft Word. Um, here is a sample citation for how to do what's in our any any source that's in our textbook okay the thing I'm more interested in showing you today are these two um, we, we may have talked about this in one section last week but the English the owl Purdue just as uh, it's useful for grammar it also is very useful for MLA and gives you an overview of how to do a variety of things and quick ways to figure out how to do in-text citations the parenthetical citations as well as how to do the most common works cited um, citations. Okay, so that's one good uh, feature that we have there available to us. It's a it's a great resource for writing of all kind and all writing classes. This one is sometimes a little bit um, easier for students to use. Uh, it comes from um, Bedford St. Martin's, uh, which is a big publisher of composition textbooks. It tells you how to do a variety of different kinds of research and documentation. If you went back to this, you'd see how to do APA and so forth, but it has a lot on MLA. And the thing that's kind of nice here is there's a sample research paper that you can look at. It's marked up in terms of telling you to center your title. Um, and so forth. Uh, it tells you how to put page numbers and parentheses after the final period of anything that's indented. It just basically shows you all the varieties of ways and things you might need to know as you're setting up uh, the paper itself. And then down here at the bottom, the work cited. Noting that the heading is centered, okay, that it's alphabetized by author's last names or by the title when there's no author when you don't have a date for a publication and this important thing, these couple of important things the first line of each entry is at the left margin extra lines are indented a half inch. I'm going to show you how to do that easily if you're not aware and then of course double spacing throughout, no extra spacing okay, in, in between these various sources. So that's a nice thing, it has that and then it gives you um, information on how to do your in-text citations and it has a nice drop-down menu here that tells you the basics and then variations depending on the kind of source that you have. A lot of good information there. has a really exhaustive list of uh, it, it, sorry, a really exhaustive menu here on how to do uh, entries in your work cited. Books, articles in periodicals, online sources, etc. If you click on any of these, it will walk you through how to do basic citations. And, and the nice thing again is that it marks each piece here. Okay, so that's a great resource of, for you. This is a, um, a long PDF that came out to explain the differences that MLA came up with in 2009. And if you want to read or have a resource that tells you almost all of the same information but in a format that's not so web friendly or um, interactive this is it. Um, now there's one other thing I just wanted to show you about doing that works cited page because it seemed we had quite a bit of trouble with this so here's just a sample works cited that I saw quite a bit quite frequently um, and I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming that maybe uh, Word is, is spitting this out in a template for you and it's while it doesn't, well, this part is not huge. Um, some people are real sticklers about following the right format for MLA. So I wanted to point out that first of all, there is no colon here, and that this work cited needs to be centered. So you have to come up here, highlight it, and center it. Okay, then 
note that the other issue here that I saw commonly is these not being indented. That's kind of maybe a question for people who aren't really savvy in Microsoft Word, so I want to show you how to do that. If you highlight this, right click, choose paragraph, and here under indentation, you come over here and you say hanging. That's what this is called when the left, the first line is at the margin and all the others are indented. Okay, then it will do this for you automatically. Obviously, there's a hard return here. Somebody has you've clicked enter so that this is a new entry, but there it is. It's that simple to come up with hanging indents. A uh, little problem on that one there. There must be an extra space in there or an extra um, tab. So that's how to do it. And then if it moves or you add anything or have to change it, they'll all continue to be in this format. I hope that makes it a little bit easier for you to use MLA. And remember, the main thing that I want you to realize is that we do have um, in our Canvas that page in our modules that helps us realize all of the information. Sorry, I guess I should say helps us find all the information you need to do your work cited correctly.